Bass and Flinders. Where and when were they born? Matthew Flinders was born in 1774 and George Bass was born in 1771. They both were born in England and travelled to New South Wales in 1795 where they met on the trip. In, se in February 1803, Bass left Sydney on a voyage to Chile in South America, but after his ship, the Venus, sailed out of Sydney Harbour, neath it, its crew nor its captain were ever to be seen or heard from again. George Bass's disappearance remains unfortunately a mystery today. Flinders died after returning back to England, where he wrote a book calling our country Australia for the first time. Had I permitted myself any innovation upon the original term, it would be to convert it to Australia, being more agreeable to the year and an assimilation to the names of the other great portions of the earth. What did they explore? In a number of voyages, they helped to map out the shape of the Australian continent and the island of Tasmania. When they arrived in Sydney in September 1795, and Bass and Flinders immediately made preparations to explore. Bass had brought from England a rowing boat that was less than three metres long. He named it Tom Thumb after the tiny fairy tale character. After just a few weeks of preparation, they sailed south to Botany Bay and explored the Georges River. They returned nine days later and reported to Governor Hunter, who led who, which led the establishment of settlement of the Georges River, which now named Bankstown. In their second journey, they sailed again in a small boat supplied by the governor. They survived through rough waves and continued south to Shell Harbour. And on returning, they discovered the name Port Hackey. In the next year, they sailed to Cape Town to pick up supplies and later Bass sailed with six sailors southward to west, Western Port in Victoria. They actually went round the southeastern tip of the continent and almost sailed through the strait, now known as the Bass Strait, but returned as their supplies were running out. Bass was certain that Van Diemen's Island as Tasmania was known then, was separated from the mainland, which has he concluded by the tides he encountered, but he had not proven it. In 1799, the North Float sailed out of Port Jackson with Flinders in command and Bass in next in authority. During their expedition, they sailed along the northern coast of Van Diemen's Land, southwards along the west coast and north up again to the east coast before returning to Sydney. On the north coast of the island, Bass and Flinders rode up the Tarabara River almost to where Longkingston now stands and on Christmas Day they climbed the, mount of, the top of Mount Wellington which overlooks Hobart, Tasmania's capital. Bass was also keen naturalist and detailed studies of birds and other native animals he encountered. The strait of water that separated the mainland with Tasmania was named Bass Strait by Governor Hunter. Flinders would go round Flinders would go on to sail right around Australia. On many of his trips Flinders brought his cat Trim. When did this exploration take place? 1795 to 1799. Why did they explore this region? To see if there was a gap between the mainland and Van Diemen's land. What was the significance of their exploration? To discover, they discovered Bass Strait. They mapped a lot of the coastline. Flinders was the first to call Australia, Australia. Finally, over and done with. What could I do now? Because I'm bored. Hey Dad, what could I do now?